and introduce the the new model of the 12 volt 1N, 2N, 3N or 4N power charger. Okay, we open the case. So the charger, they have some protection here. So fuse is in here, and fuse also in here. So that's protection. And then this one's the look. There is actually three buttons you can push. One is six volt or twelve volt. You can just like this okay when you decided to charge 12 volt and then you switch to here and then there is two button okay we have to uh, here is the plug and this one is the fuse protect protection and you don't need to touch this and you just Take off take off the charger. And then take off the connection. Here is connection. Then you connect it together. No need to touch this. Okay. So I link to main power. Once connected, the power should down. And then they showing at the moment is twelve volt, so they showing one n, two n, or three n or four n. So you use this button to select which one you want to charge. So at the moment we have a five amp. A 9 amp. I just choose 2 amp to charge. Okay, you select 2 amp using this button and then connect it to positive to positive and negative to negative. And then you press this one's start button. So this one's showing the voltage charging and using 2 amp. And then this one is showing charging and this one is desulfating. So because this one is already fully charged, so they straight away go to test the mode. So they will do the final test and then go to trickle charging and then to the recovery and do some other work. They will show uh, in a moment, um, they will use in one hour to do the final charging and also do the desulfating. But if your battery are not fully charged, they will do the other way. And also the other thing is in here, they were actually showing only two error code. One is E5. E5 always means your battery have some problem. 
and also the E3 is abnormal voltage. Um, we used to get E5 charging the old battery if they do have some faulty, even new battery, if this one showing E5, that means inside it's definitely something wrong. Okay, we just wait. Okay, you can see now at the moment it's 59. 59 means 59 minutes left. They are, this battery is being fully charged. At the moment they're just doing the trickle charge and also desulfation. So when they're charging, this light is always flashing. Flashing means they do the desulfating. So that's until this one go to zero and then they will do the final report. Uh, they will be, if the battery is still not good, they will give you E5 error message. This one is at the moment showing 49 min uh, 48 minutes left. So it's being fully charged and then they're doing some trickle charge at the moment. So they're doing a small charge and using uh, this one to do desulfating and uh, you know work on the battery recovery. So until this one go to zero and then they will be fully charged and then they will show the actual voltage of the charged battery. Now we have a look how to charge 6 volt. So this one is a 6 volt battery. So we put the plug in and then they should 12 volt. But we need to turn to 6 volt. So 6 volt if you turn straight away they were still showing the 12 volt. So you have to unplug it and replug in. So now they're showing 6 volt and then this one we're using 2 amp power to charge it. So press this button. So we use 2 amp power, 6 volt. So if you're doing the wrong way, like, and then you push charging, they will give you the error message, say wrong. Okay, so the right way is And then they will automatically start to charging. To testing, they were testing the battery first. And then start to charging. If the battery is full, and they straight away to go to the testing mode. And then give you one hour to settle down. And now they, this one's showing charging and desulfating. So you just use this one to select the charging current and also using this one to press star this one to select, select voltage so basically the operation is pretty simple yeah and you can always leave this one now if they can feel the battery is low they automatically charge again thank you